Right, we've got the rams in the trailer. We've just come into the field where the flock of ewes are, all the females, and I'm gathering them up with Gwen to take them over the stream and then up the valley onto a fresh bit of pasture. And this is a really beautiful part of the farm. We call it the paddocks or Waney Hollow, and the Windrush stream runs through it, the Windrush being a tributary to the Thames. So it runs all the way to London from here, and this is a really beautiful part of the farm. Up this valley, we've got our fun ride jumps, where we have fun rides during the spring and summer, and people turn up with their own horses and enjoy the beautiful rolling Cotswold Hills. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite parts of the farm. With the grassland that's permanent, stays down all the time, we never plough this ground, and then all around it, this lovely mixed deciduous woodland. And of course, because it's autumn, the leaves are turning and they're going that beautiful orange and copper colour. Right, I've just brought the ewes into this field, but I'm going to bring them back into the alleyway where I can contain them and just check them over before I let the rams out. So I'll just gather them back up with Gwen. Gwen, here. This side. Here. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Just get her set on the right-hand side so she goes that way. Away. She's got a lovely outrun, they call it, running right up round the back of the sheep. And then we'll bring them towards me. I really have to give her very many more commands. She's now just using her own brain, knowing what she's got to do. Just getting her to walk them on. Good girl. Good girl. Come by. Good girl. There's a good girl. Stand. Stand. Come by. You're a friendly one. Go on. Persuade them to go down that alleyway. That'll do. That'll do. Good girl. Good girl. That'll do. Gwen. Gwen. Yeah. Gwen. Gwen. That'll do. There we are. That's tied up with a bit of bale of twine. Farmer's best friend. So in here, there's about 150 ewes, and we've got three other flocks like this on the farm with rams in that are working at the moment. And what we've done is we've worked out when we want our ewes to give birth. So we've had one bunch that are ready to give birth during February half term for the Cotswold Farm Park lambing display. And then the next lot will be during the Easter holidays. That's when we want the majority giving birth. But of course, what we don't want is lots of ewes giving birth on the same day. Ideally, which is quite difficult to plan, we want 15 or 20 giving birth within 24 hours. And then during the Cotswold Farm Park opening time from half past nine till five, we're hoping we'll get three or four give birth every day. So what I'm gonna do is just leave about 10 or 15 women with the rams to start off with, and then just introduce a few every day so that slowly they all get pregnant, so we don't have a great flurry of lambing all at one time, and then nothing for three or four days. We want it to happen steadily. So these are our Romney clean ewes, and what we want at this time of year is for them to be in perfect body condition as well. Like the rams, they need to be very fit and strong. So a body condition of three and a half to four, so quite podgy, um, because they're now going to get pregnant and then go through the winter months and hopefully stay in good condition to give birth in the spring. What we've done with them is we've got them nice and clean around their back ends. You can see we've trimmed the wool around their tails. So that's clean for the ram, but also when they give birth in the spring. And if you look at these ewes, you'll see that what we've gone for is a lovely woolly animal, so plenty of wool in the Romney, but also they've got quite narrow front shoulders and that helps with their lambs, because they're the same shape, for the lambs to give birth. A narrow head and a narrow shoulder, but a sheep that grows fast and grows well. And if you look at the depth of their body, look how deep this sheep is here. And a sheep is a ruminant, like a cow, it has four stomachs. And that has a rumen in it, which is the name of a part of her stomach. And from eating grass, they can convert that into good quality proteins and energy. And a big, deep stomach like that means she's got a really good, healthy, big rumen to be able to convert that grass into energy. So now is the messy bit. The ewes are waiting patiently, but the first thing we've got to do is mark up the rams. Right, I'll just take the sheep back. No jumping out, boys. Not ready yet. Oh, 
So what we do with these rams is we put paste on their chests. And when they mate with the ewes, they leave a mark on them. And depending on the color of the paste and when it was changed, we know the date that that ewe will be giving birth. So these rams were used back in February when we had yellow paint on their chests. And you might notice some of the ewes have got yellow marks on their rumps. Well, now they're going to green and then they go blue and then red and then black. So what I've got to do is just get in with them and try and get this um, paint on them without any of them jumping out and without getting it all over myself. Right then, boys. That's it. You can see where the yellow was. And now what we want is green. Be a good boy, no kicking, otherwise I'll get it all over me. Some people use a harness and, and they get a chalk that goes into the harness and is held. The harnesses can rub them a bit sometimes and uh, the chalks can fall out, but they're still very efficient. But we have now moved over to using this paint. And what it is, is it's actually a paint that's mixed with oil so that it sticks to the fleece. And we'll just refresh this every three or four days if we need to. Because obviously when they're working and they're mating with the ewes, they're rubbing it off. In a commercial system where they're not lambing in front of the public, they would change the rattle or paint color probably every 18 days, which is the cycle of a ewe. So they'd see whether she'd gone to a different color after 18 days. So she's returned, they call it, hasn't got pregnant in the first service. And then if you've got a ram in with a flock of ewes on his own, and all of the ewes keep returning, and they all end up the color of the rainbow, you know your ram is infertile. When you've got four rams like this in a flock, actually more difficult to tell whether any of them are infertile because they'll be covering for each other. So in shepherding, the husbandry of the animal, the nutrition, looking after their health and well-being is really important that you can learn about at agricultural colleges, universities, or by getting experience from other shepherds. There's the practical skills of tipping them up like this, shearing them, getting their feet trimmed, all those sorts of things. And there's also a lot of technology with the electronic identification ear tags, there's artificial insemination, there's embryo transfers. You also get to work in the great outdoors, you know, working with sheepdogs. I'd say of all the livestock on the farm, I prefer working with the sheep than any others. There's a lot of work, there's a lot to do. Um, but I enjoy being out with a dog out in the fields. It's great. Come on, there you go, stand up. Last one, where is he? Hiding, don't you want to go out? These rams will work now for a couple of months and then their job is done. The rest of the year, they all live in a flock together and eat grass and have a lovely time. They have no parental responsibilities at all. They, uh, the ewes in the spring will give birth and the rams will be elsewhere on the farm. They have nothing to do with their lambs whatsoever. Okay, ready for action, boys? Off you go. A ewe ovulates every 18 days. That's when she's ready to accept the ram and get pregnant. And often people wonder, if you've got a flock of 200 ewes and six rams, how do they ever get together? How do they find each other at that critical time when the ewe is ovulating? And the truth is that the ewe goes in search of the ram when she's ready to be mated. She'll seek him out in a field. And then he'll get with her and he'll be able to smell her and scent the air by curling up his top lip and tell whether she's ovulating or not. He'll then mate with her and hopefully get her pregnant. And what you also see is rams chasing ewes around. They'll go up behind them and smell them. They'll bang them with their front foot. And if the ewe isn't ready, she'll move away until she is ovulating and then they'll get together. And you can see out here already, 
There's three or four ewes that have gone bright green, so they've been mated already by these rams. It's the 27th of October, so in five months' time they'll be going giving birth. And if you go online and go on the sheep gestation period chart, you can work out the exact date next spring when these will be lambing at the Cotswold Farm Park. You can come along and see their little lambs being born. <laughs>